Hello guys, welcome to the channel Rahul Automation Studio. So hey guys, in this video, I will be explaining you about the form authentication. So definitely whenever you're doing automation for a particular website, you will be facing that you have to do a login, right? Like you have to do the sign in for that particular website and then you can start automating your test cases. So you can do and you can enter in the website. So how basically you can do the form authentication. So let's create a one class guys for that but first of all create a new java class and we will give it name like a form authentication all right guys include the main method in it yes finish so here we'll be writing our code for the form authentication and the form authentication i will show you in the two different way that how you can do two different ways so let's first copy for the launching of a Chrome browser for you. So we will be doing this in the Chrome browser. So this is a for system.set property where we are setting the path for our Chrome browser, guys. And after that, we are creating the object of a Chrome driver class by the web driver interface reference object. After that, what we have to do, guys, we will be loading that particular URL which is containing the example. So to open a URL, there is a method driver.get method, right guys? And this is the URL, which is containing the example for the form authentication, right guys? So just enter that URL in the driver.get method. After that, we will be maximizing our browser as well. So, right guys? We will be maximizing our browser. So we will be giving some delay also for the two seconds so that we can keep on the observation about the execution. It is showing an exception. So we will be throwing in a declaration in the method, right guys? So let's browse this and see what is the exact example for the form authentication, how it looks like the form. So definitely, I mean, the form will be having a uh, username and password and the login button so that's how every website is containing for a login right so i will be showing that so there is two ways guys i can do that so first way i will be doing with the help of by locating the web elements for the username and password definitely and one i will be using a keyboard action so how can you play with the keyboard keys like tab and send keys and enter so how you can also do in that way as well guys so this is a login page definitely you will see in the home page of every website you have to do the login and once you click on the login icon or login link you will see that for one form will open that will containing a username and password that is basically credentials you have to enter and after that you have to click on a login button only if credentials are correct, you will be able to log in into a particular website. So let's do it guys. So first of all, we have to locate the username. So just inspect the element. And after inspecting the element, you can see which is different. So it should be having the always one. That unique value, unique location, locator should be one. So like here we can see, uh, we can locate it with the name of a user ID itself, right guys? So Let's locate it in that way and uh, write down driver dot find element by dot ID. We will be using ID. So just pass that particular ID, right guys? And we have to use the method send keys to enter the value. So what is the username? So guys, in this example, like if you're working on any other website, so you have to enter your username here. So for this particular login form, the username is this value, Tom Smith, right guys? So just enter this value in the send keys. In the similar way, we will be doing it for the password. So just we will copy and paste and let's locate the element for the password now. So password is having also ID as a password. We can locate it like that way. So, and now we have to enter the password instead of username. So what is the value for password? So here guys, you can see enter Tom Smith for username and this particular super secret password for the password. 
so just enter this particular value in the password now okay guys so just enter this particular password value now in the similar way you have to click on the login so let's locate this element for the login and this is a button so in the button we can see we can locate it with the help of a class name so class name is radius right guys so let's do this one also and driver dot find element by dot class name we have to locate it with the class name as it is having a class property so class name now dot we have to do a click on it because on button it will taking a click action so you have to use a click method here so send keys for text box to send the values and click is for the button to click on a login button right so now let's try to execute how you will run it just right click and run as a java application guys so once login is successful it will show you a successful message also that you have entered in that particular website like that so you can verify that also so it has entered the value as you can see and uh, we have we can see a successful message that you logged in into a secure area like that and you can also click on log out if you want to log out from a particular website for that what you have to do simply you have to right click on it just click on inspect right guys so you have to locate this particular logout log out button and uh, so this is having an anchor tag like that href is this or you can based on going log out also so just you have to locate it and you can click on it so it will click once you click on log out it will makes you on the again on the login page right guys okay. so this is the one way that you can do a form login form authentication and now i will be showing you how you can do in a another way by using a like id uh, by the keyboard actions like keys by pressing the keys guys right so just copy one line guys okay paste it here now comment out all of these lines so this is our first way that we are doing it now i will show you how you can do by the keyboard actions so first of all definitely guys you have to use the you have to enter the username in the text box suppose you have entered the username value guys okay just copy it so what keyboard action guys you have to do after entering the username you have to enter the tab suppose i am pressing a tab now so it is now the focus is on the password so now you can send the values as a password value right guys just do the copy of the password i am doing it manual and uh, i will show you how you can automate it with the help of a keyboard actions so once you have entered the password again click on tab so now it is focusing on the login button so what you will do uh, to click on the login now press enter from your keyboard once you will press the enter it will do the login for you so guys in this you don't have to locate the password element you don't have to locate for the login button so without locating that or suppose if you are not able to find out unique id unique class name or unique xpath for this particular web element in that case you can also use the keyboard actions and you can perform the operations so exactly what we have to do now so first of all in the coding in the selenium script we have to write it down for the username now what we have to do so what we have done guys so we have done in the username after entering the value for username we have done the tag we have sent the tag so here instead of entering the password or username like that so you have to enter keys dot tab right guys so after entering keys dot tab what exactly you have done see guys once you are on the username you have Enter the username. Once you're pressing the tab, it is the time for you to enter a password, right? So now, double quote and and enter the password value. You don't have to locate the password field now. 
let's enter it and what is the next step guys next step is you have to press the tab again so simply what you have to do you have to click on plus sign now keys dot tab simple guys very simple you don't have to locate element for uh, login button now what is the next action you will do plus sign so once it is on this press the enter it will log in for you so similar way you have to press a enter key from the keyboard so keys dot enter that's it guys so your code is ready now it will do the login for you you don't have to locate this password element you don't have to locate this particular button simply you can use keys board actions and you can perform all the actions you can send the values you can do the click and you can perform the particular form authentication so let's try to first close the, all these icons so that you don't get confused just every browser is closed we will be try to run this test case now just run as a java application in the same way so you can see browser is open and uh, it will load the site you can see how quick it was it has done guys application is done because why it was so fast it was so fast because it is doing the keyboard actions it is not locating it is not taking time to find out the web elements and after that it is performing the actions right guys because finding a web elements it will be you know trans uh, it will be going through with the, all the dom elements and then it will try to find out that particular web element and then it will click right guys but here you can see it was very fast and our login is very successful and it is authenticated also and test case is passed right guys so there are two ways that you can do the form authentication one is with the web elements and one by using the keyboard actions as well so yeah that's it guys so i just wanted to show you how you can do the form authentication because this is the first step for every automation tester even though in interview questions whenever you will go they will ask you please write a program to do a login so guys if you will write by the two ways one is with the web element and one is will be the by the these send keys definitely they will impress and they will think yes you have a good experience so please if you will write two logic for them so it will be really good so keep in mind they are every one every time they ask this question in an interview how please write a code for the login scenario so please watch it and like and share subscribe to your subscribe to the channel and share with your friends thanks guys thank you all bye